Hello my friends, we are back and I am wasting no time because I saw the comments on my last video, we want the YSL unboxing. We want the try on, we want all the details. So we're doing that today. We're gonna open up everything that was sent to me. We're gonna do a full face YSL beauty, let's go. Okay, so if you didn't see my last chaotic vlog, I did a little unboxing of a couple of PR packages that they sent me, which genuinely, I can't compute in my mind that that's happening to me. It seems fake. But they sent a bunch of the lip, the, what are these called? The high shine lip glosses that are everywhere. I feel like they went viral on TikTok because of Alex Earl. And then they also sent this stunning package, which is where we're gonna spend most of our time today because it's everything. It's pretty much everything. It's gonna be a really light, light beat, I think, unless we wanna build some other things in. The only other thing they sent, so, well, I'll tell you, in this little package, they sent the New Glow, New Glow In Balm. So it's a priming moisturizer. We have a Bare Look Tint. I've heard amazing things about this. And then this is the Halo Tint, which is also, okay, I have a couple shades of that. A few shades of that. Ooh, guys, I think I have extras. Do we do a giveaway? I think we do. Concealer pen, and then again, the, the candy, candy, candy place. So let's start, okay, let's get the hair out of the face. I'm so excited. So like I said, this is a priming moisturizer. I don't believe there's a shade, but it says 24 hour illuminating and priming. So I'd usually like to, let's shake things up. Get all the stuff that's settled. Get it moving, you know what I'm saying? All right, and I like to do a decent amount of primer. On my skin already, just so you guys know, is the snail stuff that I use. I'll pop it up on the screen from Amazon. And the, oh, this smells good. The Cora Organics Moisturizer. Off the bat, I'm getting a glow. Are we seeing this? I'm definitely getting a glow. It does have a little fragrance, which I don't normally like fragrance in my products because my skin is sensitive, but it feels bougie. Like it feels like a bougie, nice moment. I'm not that mad about it. And it's giving primer. It's sticky in a good way. I'm gonna let that melt in for a minute. I think we need to do some type of brow while we're waiting. So let me pop my brows on really quick and then we'll move right onto the skin tint. Okay, a couple things. I just added a light right here. I wanted to make sure that you guys are really able to see the face well lit on both sides. I have a window here and I have a light here. I'm hoping that is a little better. Second thing, I am using the NYX Thicket in the shade Taupe. I feel like this gives a really nice natural brow but still defines them. And I honestly think it's funny, the price difference in the two. Because obviously NYX is insanely affordable and YSL is designer. So I just think that's funny. And I wanna mention that I completely understand that these YSL beauty products are an investment. They are, they are a splurge, they are a treat. They would be for me anyway, if I was buying them. So I will make sure that this review is 100% honest and not that it wouldn't be ever, but whether I believe it's worth the money, you know what I mean? Because a lot of stuff that I use, a lot of beauty products I use are a lot less expensive and they do amazing things. So I just, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna say that. We don't love that. We don't love what I just did, but it's okay. We can clean her up. But see how that gives me like a nice laminated brow that's like defined? Okay, moment of truth. I'm actually trying to decide how I want to apply this, but we're gonna go on with the Bare Look Tint. This is the shade six. Let's just go right on the face. Shade looks good. I should probably have started with a little and then built up, but here we are. This is feeling like I think a brush is going to be good. Let's use the Amazon brush in case a bunch of you guys got that because I feel like you did and it's a great brush set. So this is just like a standard foundation brush. You could also use your fingers. Maybe I'll use my fingers on the other side. Oh, it's definitely really light, which we love in a skin tint, but it is evening. It is evening my skin. It's taking away the redness where I have it. I think it also has a fragrance. I mean, that is, it's a beautiful, natural, very, very natural finish. Let's do my hands on this side so you guys can see how it blends in. I was actually scared about the shade when I started blending it in, but 
it melts into the skin pretty well and it actually it's a good shade match for me it's very dewy so i would say i mean it's a skin tint so it's not going to be like a matte finish by any means which i don't i didn't expect but i could see i mean we knew that had to happen at least once in this video because i am me hold on okay so as i was saying i i love it i think if you're an oily girl this combo you're gonna you're gonna want some type of powder on top which is totally fine i'm combination so i do feel quite shiny but it's a skin tint like this is something you throw on when you're running out the door to run errands if you're going to be at the beach or the pool and you want some type of evening it's definitely evening my skin my hang up is my personal preference is just a little more coverage that's just my personal preference but if i'm having a really good skin day other than like i just want to even out my skin tone i think this would be beautiful i'm gonna do a teeny bit more and i'm just gonna apply it you know what would be interesting if we mix that priming moisturizer and this together i just want to apply it with my hands like i do my bb cream and see how it feels it's really really light like thin consistency and i usually need the majority of my coverage at the center of my face so i could kind of put it there and then like let it work its way out you can see my skin is significantly more even that's really what it did it really just evened out my skin tone so the thing is i'm gonna need some type of bronzer now for sure which we don't have one we have the oliver highlighter for face and eyelids but i don't think I mean, we have this dark one but i don't think this is gonna be like what we want for our bronzer so what i would do for this type of look because this is very feeling very like i said light summer vibes i would do the say sun melt this is exactly the type of like summery bronze product that i love to use on top of something this light and i'm just using that amazon brush and i'm just gonna work that around the perimeter of my face So you can see that just brought life to the face. When you're all one tone, you're gonna look kind of dead. So the bronzer warms up the face. We carved it out a little bit. We added color. I'm honestly liking this product even more after putting the sun melt on top. It really is like, my skin is insanely glowy. I'm excited to also use that priming moisturizer with a foundation. You know, there's a lot of different things we can do. Okay, so next I'm gonna do the concealer, or they actually call it the brightening pen. So it conceals, corrects, contours, and lifts. I did the shade two, shade two. It's a clicker. Okay, I didn't have to click that many times. Let's just, oh, she's bright. Oh, honey, take it easy. All right, we need to just be using this very sparingly so that we don't apply too much. I like the pen concept. I wasn't sure I was gonna like it, but I love how I just feel like I have complete control of this cause I'm like just drawing on my face. I would say you need like two clicks for a product to come out, but then it, a lot comes out. Maybe if I was more patient. Okay, and then let's carve out the face a little bit more. I'm gonna use my Mario brush. You guys know I love this for concealer and foundation. So I'm just gonna tap this underneath the eye first impression obsessed love i don't know what that just did felt felt magical better than i expected a lot better like really brightening in a beautiful natural way are you guys seeing this and it's blending in so seamlessly and so easily it's actually not too bright at all it's a perfect shade match how good is that that's beauteous yeah again that made me like the skin product the skin tint 10 times more. I mean, it is very glowy. You could see. We're gonna do a little powder for sure, but my first impression is this is beautiful. It's really light, but it's still giving me, it's giving me what I need, especially on a summer day. Okay, let's keep it moving. We're gonna do our, we're gonna do our halo tint. And I have a couple shades here. So let's take a peek here. We have these three shades, bronze, gold, rose quartz. Rose quartz is more my vibe. I think we might need to try a couple of them, but let's just see what happens when I take this out. Pretty, it's, 
it's like a rosy highlight. Let's freaking put this on our face. What's gonna happen? I don't know if anything's happening. Cause I'm already so glowy. I mean, I see it, I do. I think let's try the bronze. The bronze might need to go on the eyes, which I actually love doing this for eyeshadow. It's such an easy way. Okay, so here's the bronze. So you can guys get a sense for the shade. I mean, they're stunningly beautiful. This is actually like a cop, more copper. I'm just gonna like push this into the lid. See what happens to me. We're in this together. You need to zoom me back in. It's beautiful, beautiful on the lid. I just love how it's this like overall sheen. Like it's not too offensive. It's all very like soft and melty. If you know what I'm saying. And then let's do the gold. We'll do a little gold on the eyes too. This is actually less yellow than I thought it was gonna be, the gold. You guys can see, it's like a more neutral gold. So I think I'm gonna like it. And then I'm going back with the rose quartz. I think I just wanna hit the other side of my face with this and then maybe like my nose just to really highlight. I love how you can just kind of play with these. Like this feels very easy. I'm not stressed. I'm not like, oh no. You know what I mean? Sometimes when you put products on that you've never tried and you're just like not sure how they're gonna react. This is just very chill. I just feel like everything just kind of melts together in a very glowy and beautiful way. I think that's pretty. Okay, so here we are. Here we are. I mean, it's it's pretty. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, but I will say, I, I'm, I look a little oil spill. You know what I mean? Like it's very, I wouldn't go out like this. That's usually the case for me no matter what I put on my face. That's just my skin type. This is what happens. So that's not like a knock on the product at all. It is a reason that I, I, I struggle with skin tints a little bit because I just feel like I have to add a powder. So that's fine though. It's okay, we're gonna use a really light powder, the Say. I love this powder, again, for these really light looks. It's so beautiful. I use my little Amazon puff and we're just gonna press this into the areas that we have to set. So my under eye, I absolutely have to set. Usually my T-zone is where I get the most oily, which you could already see, but look at how that immediately just smooths everything out. This is gonna hold everything in place. It like perfects the skin. I like Desert Island, I, I would I would have to have a, a powder in my puff. The puff is key. If you don't have the puff, you're missing out on so many benefits. So I'm not gonna hit the cheekbone because I want that glow. I want that like glassy glow to stay, but I'm gonna go around it because otherwise we're gonna just look a little too wet. Okay, so this right here I'm in love with. This feels very, I don't know why, but Sophia Richie is what's coming to my mind. Like it's just clean, but I do feel like I have some shape and color on my face to make it look, it's not like nothing, it, but it's all very subtle. You know what I mean? It's different from my usual. I usually have a heavy hand. I'm gonna pop on a little mascara and then we're gonna do lips. I'm using Jones Road, we'll do this off camera because you guys have seen me do it 1,000 times. Okay, mascara's on, we're gonna clean up in a minute. We're just gonna pop on a little liner. You guys already know Iconic Nude from Charlotte Tilbury is the goat. So you can see I'm really just like smudging that on, trying to give my lips just a little definition. Okay, and these are so creamy that they kind of blend all over the lips naturally when you do that. And I'm gonna use the Candy Glaze Lip Gloss Stick. So this is the, oh, I have one of these already open, so I don't wanna start a new one. It's in my purse. I already know I love it. It's really, really good. This is the one with the plumper. It's just clear, but look how pretty it is over anything, anything. So you could do like a more mauve or more pink or peach, whatever. Nude lip liner. And then just do a little bit of that on top. How pretty is that? It feels like silk on the lips. Some people don't like how thick it is, but honestly, I like it because you don't need to add much like you do a couple swipes and you end up with this beautiful glossy plump lip there's no tingling it's something like that it's just beautiful okay my loves here is the final look had to pin my hair up because i'm 
quite, quite warm right now, but I love this. Here's the words I keep thinking of as I look at this look. It's clean girl makeup. If you are that like clean aesthetic, minimal, neutral, girly. Let me zoom you in a little bit. I really think you're gonna love this. I really do. I, as I said, it's not my usual aesthetic. I tend to have a heavier hand. I tend to wear it a little bit more than this. But truly, this is making me feel like I don't need to be wearing as full coverage of makeup as I think because once you layer all the products on top of each other, you just really don't need it. I mean, the skin looks great, it's glowing. All I can say is like, this is minimal clean girl makeup. I feel like I'm missing a little color. Like, I think I need a little blush on top. So let's, let's do it. I have my persona right here in the shade bloom which is really really creamy just to keep with this like creamy creamy feel and i think this is just gonna add what we need in terms of life to the face i'm curious what ysl has for green blushes i'm curious and like other little things too like mascara i don't know if i've tried their mascara that's that's helping me a lot. And it's taking everything in me not to add like a lot more powder and then go over top with a powder bronzer and really bronze everything up. I'm not doing that because I feel like this is a vibe. This is just not my normal vibe, so I'm not used to it, but I do really like it. So overall review, I wasn't like losing my mind over anything. I just thought everything was really nice. Like it felt very nice, it felt very luxe, it felt, feels very light. Like I said, I just think if you're that clean girl, aesthetic girl, I think you're gonna love these products. They're very, very nice. Like I said, I'm just not losing my mind over anything. I'm not like, call the police. This should be illegal. You know what I'm saying? But it's beautiful. Like I love all of it. The, my favorite is probably the lip. It's just so easy to use. I love how like glossy and plumpy it is in a non-offensive way. The concealer. The concealer was my second favorite. So I think if you're gonna splurge on a couple of things from this video, I would say the lip and the concealer. I think the other things you could probably find similar for less, just being honest. Not to say I don't love them. I really do. I think they're beautiful. But that's my honest review and opinion. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button before you go. I'm gonna do another giveaway on this video because I have too many YSL goodies to keep for myself. So we're gonna do a couple of these, the highlighters and then a couple of the lips. So it's a small giveaway, but these are obviously high price items. So I'm hoping that one of you will love these and appreciate them and enjoy them. So they don't just sit in my beauty room. Like this video, comment, subscribe, the usual. Tell me your favorite part about the video. That was fun reading those comments in my last video. I love you guys. I will see you in my next one. Thank you for watching.